Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Just want to jump on quickly today. Um, saw an article today. I thought I'd uh, jump on and discuss it. Uh, Ashley Vox was interviewed recently um, and she was asked if Impact Wrestling has contacted the Sea Stars for a return. And um, here's what she said. Interview was uh, by Fightful Select. So Fightful Select recently spoke with Ashley Vox, who revealed there have been no talks with Impact Wrestling for return to the company for the Sea Stars. Uh, the Sea Stars, of course, is Vox's team with her uh, Ashley Vox team with her sister Delmi Exo, uh, but uh, they previously appeared in the Knockouts Tag Team Tournament. But Impact Wrestling showing no interest in bringing them back. Great, great work there, Impact Wrestling. You know, God forbid, God forbid we want to develop some new stars. You know, God forbid we want to develop some new stars by, by bringing um, some new fresh face in. You know, when, when we got ODB uh, that we could call on every six months, and you know, we got Jazz now. We got Jazz who's been around for quite some time. She just recently retired, but um, she's coming back for a little bit here in Impact Wrestling. So we could we got Jazz, we got ODB. Uh, th these are the these are the the two women that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push. We're gonna promote because God forbid we don't want to develop any new stars. We don't want to develop any new stars. I mean, you look at you look at AEW with AEW Dark. They're developing new stars. They're looking for new talent. They're looking for new faces. They're bringing in fresh faces. You look at WWE with NXT. They're bringing in new faces, fresh faces all the time. Why isn't Impact Wrestling doing that? Uh, I know Impact Wrestling, okay, they got the partnership, and I've discussed it many times. They got the partnership right now with um, – uh, AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, you know, the forbidden door is open, you know, so, but like I said, they need to develop their own talent, they need to develop their own stars, they need to have their own identity, they can't just keep going to AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling and falling back on them and say, hey, can we get this guy, can we get that guy, can we get this guy? Why can't, what is wrong with developing new talent? What is wrong with bringing new talent in? I have a list here of new talent um, that, that they've some young talent, I should say, that they've had on their shows. And I'm going to read the list. And we'll, and you tell me if any of these guys are still with the company. Okay. Lee Moriarty was with the, uh, one explosion match. Great young, potentially a potential star, uh, Lee Moriarty. Terrific talents. Had a tremendous match with Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander put him over uh, after that match. And Lee Moriarty had one match and we haven't seen him again. Trey Lamar, Trey Lamar, another really, really good, young, talented wrestler. We saw him once. We saw him once in the Super X Cup tournament, and uh, we, we didn't see him again. You know, no point in bringing him back, right? Uh, Blake Christian, we saw, I think, two or three times. We uh, missed the boat on that because he's signed uh, to NXT. Good move there. Uh, by the way, NXT, WWE, bringing in some new, fresh faces. Blake Christian is a good one. Um Killer Kelly, Killer Kelly, we saw her twice, I think. You know, what's up with that? How come we haven't seen Killer Kelly anymore? We haven't seen her again. Um, the Sea Stars, I just mentioned, you know, Impact shows no interest in, in bringing them back. Uh, Renee Michelle, Renee Michelle, we saw her two or three times. She had a, a few ex matches on Explosion. She was in the Knockouts Tag Team Tournament. Now she's on AEW Dark, and I don't think there's any chance at all that she's going to make a return to, to Impact Wrestling now that she's um, already uh, – she's been on AEW Dark a couple of times, and she's going to work her way up the ladder there. And and good chance that she'll sign with uh, AEW and be on the, the AEW women's roster. Uh, Braden Lee. Braden Lee, another terrific, terrific young – talented wrestler who has a potential to be a star we saw him once we saw him once and uh, that was it i actually have an interview coming up on the alliance pro wrestling network um uh, my own youtube channel you could check it out alliance pro wrestling network i did an interview with Braden lee and i asked him about about impact wrestling and he gave uh gave, gave his answer on on if we're going to see him back but um but as of right now, we haven't seen him back. There's no talk on, hey, we let's bring Braden Lee back. You know, he he, he performed well against Sammy Callahan. No, nope, we don't. We don't need to. We don't need to bring in uh, any new talent here. Um, we saw and when they were in Toronto when they were doing shows, we saw Aiden Prince, Alexi Nicole, El Reverso, three really talented young wrestlers here in in Canada that were really making an 
no pun intended, would make an impact in Impact Wrestling. Um, Aiden Prince had a a, a great run, uh, had a couple of matches, uh, had a terrific match with Jake Christ for the um, X Division Championship, which was just fantastic. And it just blows my mind that they didn't sign Aiden Prince after that match. Even Jake Christ was, when I interviewed Jake Christ, he was confused about that. You know, that they didn't sign him. So I, I ran down the list of, of the of the young talent uh, that we've seen uh, recently in Impact Wrestling. And if I missed one or two, it's because, you know, they didn't bring them back and I forgot about them. You know, I, I, that's, that's, I guess that's what Impact Wrestling um, wants us to do. They want us to see the new talent, but they want us to forget about the new talent. Right, and I think that's 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 their strategy. You know, I, if I sound frustrated, it's because I am. It's because... You know, I'm seeing what other promotions are doing. Again, AEW with AEW Dark. You know, Ring of Honor has um, Future of Honor where they bring in uh, young uh, young talent. MLW, uh, Corp Bauer, always always uh, looking out for for um, new young talent. They recently brought in Calvin Tankman. That was a great, great signing. Um, he signed a three-year deal with MLW. That's a good young wrestler who's going to be a star. Um, he just... Um, uh, there was another signing he just brought in. The name escapes me. Another young, talented wrestler. I mean, he brought in the Von Erics. He brought in Junior um, Jacob for two. Um, all these uh, Richard Holiday, uh, Alexander Hammerstone, uh, all these young guys he brought in. And MLW is, is a very exciting promotion. Uh, and, and I mentioned the WWE with NXT. They developed through NXT. They bring in um, young stars. And New Japan Pro Wrestling has the Young Lions that they develop. They bring in Young Lions. They go through the dojo, and then they show up on New Japan Pro Wrestling, either in Japan or here in the States. We have the LA. They have the LA dojo. So they develop new talent that way. But what's Impact Wrestling doing? What's Impact Wrestling doing to develop new talent? I'm not seeing any new talent being developed. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, they had Explosion. They could have made that into a new talent showcase, but they didn't. They actually, they've, uh, they put that show on hiatus indefinitely. So I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. Uh, uh, they, they, they won't be able to depend on, on this, this relationship forever that they have with AEW New Japan Pro Wrestling and e even with New Japan Pro Wrestling it's just uh, it's just starting out right now so you don't know what's uh, how it's how it's going to um how it's going to go for them. I mean, we saw Finn Juice. I mean, how many more New Japan Pro Wrestling stars are we going to see in Impact Wrestling? I know AEW has a relationship with uh, New Japan as well, so not sure what's going to be happening there, but they need to start developing the new stars. They need to develop the new stars because you can't uh, be six months, as I said earlier. You can't just call on OTB to come in. Uh, you can't say, "Hey, uh, we need a we need a spot filled here." What's Swaggle doing? Let's get Swaggle back. You know, they can't keep doing that, and and that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. You know, but uh, hopefully, um, hopefully they'll start developing new talent, and we'll see some new fresh faces in Impact Wrestling very, very soon. Because, uh, like I said, every other promotion is doing it but not Impact Wrestling. That's what it seems to me anyway. All right, so on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North, heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.